Hey, motherfucker. Okay. And then what? Hey, oh, motherfucker. Let's go. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to play the game. So you just shout motherfucker. So you just shout motherfucker then. Okay, that's cool. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a good strategy. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you had Tourette's, but now I can just see that you're a very good gamer. Good game, boy. I'm Brazilian. Good game. We haven't hey, had the battle yet, but thank you. That's very polite. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have the greatest of games. Oh my fucking god. You're very shit. Again, we haven't had the battle yet. Oh, my, my girlfriend, my girlfriend arrived. Wait, what? Am I your girlfriend? I'm, I'm confused. Well, that was something. That was the best battle yet. Wait, and we're still playing? The fuck's happening? What? God, play the game. <laughs> I don't think he appreciated the chicken sound effects. Welcome back, Fighting Dreamers, the things I do for you on this channel. I've just spent about an hour trying to matchmake. And this is a match made in heaven. It's such a joy when you have a dead game and the only matches you can get are tossers or people who just sort of sit in the waiting room for fun hmm there we go i knew that switching on and off would do it eventually that always does the trick i can't wait to move home for the summer that way i might have some decent wi-fi anyway today's theme comes from elaine alan i'm so sorry i suck with names now Elaine here is actually a very special kind of contributor because he's actually suggested a theme via my Patreon. A bunch of you have uh, requests and suggestions outstanding, but his one has to go to the very top because he did the three pound Patreon scheme. VIP, VIP. Damn right you get special treatment and I need to start keeping some of my promises because I didn't actually expect to get any Patreons. <laughs> so thank you for th three, three, that's good, hey, it's better than none. So shark boys in Animal Kingdom it is. First up we've got literal shark man, how were you born, Kasame Hoshigaki. And I feel like the less questions we ask about his upbringing, the better. But then I got thinking, which ninja do resemble animals? Yugito, she lives her life as a cat, that's her fursona. And Kabuto, who took the whole snakes the hands things a little bit too seriously. Is that another excuse to play as Kabuto Yakushi? Oh, oh, oh. Yo, Kasame versus Kasame, this is... Unwarranted. Too much shark going on here. It's not shark boy and shark boy. It's shark boy and lava girl. Dumbass. But anyway, my one's the one with the cool hat, so I think I might win. Like you look at me, Kasame, and then you look at him, Kasame. No hat. Oh wait, no. Fuck. He's the one with the hat. I'm the snake man. Oh shit, guys. I'm sorry. We've lost. No hat. No win. Why the fuck didn't I bring the hat? Sam, you amateur. That's very revealing. That's some top tier level play, Sam. You don't even know which character you are. Fuck off, Atachi. <sighs> Every time I play as Kabuto, there's an Atachi player waiting to screw me over. It's almost ironic. It's almost, it's almost tragic, actually. There was that one episode where I did the mini rant on how Atachi Uchiha is probably homosexual, and he's been following me ever since. I swear to God, man. Now, although I might be keeping to my promise, to my Patreon promise, this team is weak as shit, so I'm actually going to have to lead with uh, Yugito, because she's the only one I know how to use. And by use, I mean her combos are real fast, and she can do the backflips for as long as you want. The backflips in this are pretty good, because they make you unapproachable. Most of the time, uh, reckless players will dash in and get hurt by my little lane traps. But I'm gonna swap in because Kasame vs Kasame is too confusing a visual to not do. Let's head over to the comments. This week in the Ask FM question box, like, did you even know that was a thing? Because I forgot it was even a thing. Someone asks, what are my favourite animals and least favourite animals? And I kept this one for a rainy day. Perfect. I am a big stupid liar if I say anything but dog. All you have to do is type dog into my YouTube list to see how many videos I've made on these little fucking things. They fill my life with love, they fill my life with joy. That's an unconditional little ball of human motivated fur. 
We are evolutionary linked. And I've done, oh, sorry, that was so fucking sexy. I come every time that happens. It's a medical condition. I plead to call a doctor. Oh, I love dogs so much that my only long-term goals are acquiring dogs, <laughs> which is insane. You should get a house full of dogs first, Sam. But no, first off, I'm gonna get my starter pet, my starter deck dog. Before I'm out of my 20s, I want to have a golden retriever. And this golden retriever will be named Airbud. He's the perfect starter deck dog. <laughs> And then after it, when he's gone, or maybe if he wants a buddy, and I've ranked up a bit in dog ownership, I can play with the big leagues. I'm talking Rottweilers. These things, these animals are fucking gorgeous. Absolutely in love. It's something about the eyebrows. <clears throat> nice brows, girl. One of my favorite dogs in the world was a, was a Rottweiler who passed away earlier this year, and she was still like a puppy at heart. Love that thing. And then finally, when I maybe hit retirement, I want a Shiba Inu. Those things are fucking expensive and tricky. Like, they're as cunning as a snake. Talking about cunning as a snake. <laughs> Shit, that didn't help you there, did it, snake boy? A perfect little model pooch called Kenji. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's the dream. That's the American dream. But first I have to get a house and pay rent. And it's a fucking struggle. Other favorite animal? Oh, oh, it's tough beyond that. See, I am a diver, uh, so anything underwater are my favorite beautiful creatures ever. Sea urchin is this beautiful, like, death monster, like a Lovecraftian mythological. And here's the thing about sea urchins: that metal is fuck. They actually actively ruin the environment that they are in. Faceless, soulless, they contribute nothing to society. A sea urchin is my spirit animal. <laughs> Cause it certainly isn't a cat. Look at this fucking bitch getting hammered. Oh, oh, this is not a good match. This is not going well for us. I also love 90% of fish. I love turtles. Yeah, not sharks. And manatees. And despite me playing as a shark currently, I actually have a huge fucking phobia of sharks. I'm fine with snakes, I'm fine with rats and spiders. No sharks, mm-mm. They are sea fucking killing machines. Get them away from me. It's funny that the best and the worst animals in the entire world come from the ocean. And oh, I can't wait to get back into diving this summer. This summer that will happen. And I'm gonna see myself another rock octopus. But maybe I should get back into the fucking game now, Sam. Hit him, hit him hard. Oh, nothing we're doing is working. It's because there's a, you can't tell, there is a tiny, tiny fragment of lag and it's throwing off all the flips. <laughs> it sounds like I'm just making excuses. No, this is just a shit game against a very good player, which means <sighs> I don't really get to contend today. Spam, just sp spam, do the back flips to infinity. Oh. See, I, I, I promise you, I did dodge that. I promise you. Yeah, Capto vs. Tachi, couldn't go better. When has that ever gone wrong before? Elsewhere in the comments, it seems like we've got to bring out the naughty step. Someone felt like being a big boy and this is the price they pay. Get him put on blast. Friday morning blast. I'm worried if you keep sucking off Kabuto, we'll have to put these videos on Pornhub. Bitch, there is no Kabuto porn online. I've checked. <laughs> I wish I was even joking. Yeah, he's not really seen as a sexually attractive character um, and I, I've got no reason, I've got no clue why. Next battle and you better fucking believe I'll use Kabuto. Nah, okay, not this time, I promise I won't. Although you're not wrong, Lord of the Pies. This has basically been Kabuto month to follow up Uchiha month. That's no fault of mine. You guys just keep suggesting themes where I'm gonna take advantage of that shit. For this one, oh, it's just, it's just one player, no supports. Shit, well shit. No, you know what? No problem. We're gonna go with Kiba, the literal dog man with a dog on his head. Let's play independently as that dog. Holy shit, I wonder if that's ever been done before. I mean, I did just have a whole rant about dogs, so it's only fitting. But what breed is Akamaru? Hmm. Okay, Sasuke, we'll do this shit like in part one, with those dog combos. It's a shame that Sasuke and Kiba never fought, because seeing Sasuke copying his piss attack would be fucking hilarious. Fang over Fang! 
Oh shit, got one in already? Oh, that skill, that's... Uh, oh. No, it isn't. My bad. He's just not very good. <laughs> Get him, Akamaru. Fuck yeah. Take him to town. Take him to church. But, really? Uh, uh, what's happening? What? Oh no. It's one of these players. I mean, I never met one before. Hey buddy, you okay? Have you had a stroke at the controller? <laughs> he's just taking it. He's just... He's, he's just taking it. What the fuck am I meant to do in this situation? I feel bad, but we are unranked, so I'm not gonna let him have it. He hasn't left the room because he's still moving and blocking every now and then. Mm -hmm. Hey buddy, I think okay, let me go on. I'm just here doing my dog for a walk. Oh, oh, you try to pull a fast one on me. Fuck out of here. Nah, you pay the price for that, actually. Dick bag. Wow, what a noble strategy. Did that work for you online, buddy? Does that work for you? Do you go to tournaments and do the whole, like, oh, I'm not actually playing? Oh, got ya. <laughs> That's never worked. You've taken two health bars of damage. And, I mean, you're just over there. We don't have to battle if you don't wanna, but my dog's fucking coming whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm using Akamaru as a puppet user. What, what is this? How is he letting me do this? This is embarrassing. This is humiliating, sir. Fuck, this is awesome. Get him, Akamaru. Fuck it. Finish him off. <laughs> Akamaru solos. Yes. And he's gonna... Oh. You think you're free? He's gonna do another round, bitch. Go on, back at it. Send my dog back into war. <laughs> he can do it. He can fucking do it. He's a good boy. All right, let's wrap up this shit show. When people ask me, Sam, why'd you have a Ninja Storm series? That game is dead as fuck. I'll tell them this, because you get, <laughs> you get so much weird shit on this game. The fan, the fan base for this is batshit. What old community? An awful, genuinely weird community. Shit, yeah. Best of three, final game, because that did not count as a game. No, sir. Now we have fully aged Wolfman, we have Orochimaru, snake mythology wanking, and Bug Girl. What kind of bug? Again, I don't know. It's all very vague in the Naruto verse. But you know what? I think we've got this one in the bag. These are all some pretty good nin. Mm, up and at him, up and at him. Now, Akamaru cannot actually fight this battle for us, but goddamn, am I gonna make him try. In terms of YouTube comments, there really haven't been a whole lot this week, other than the obvious, obligatory, 12-year-old Attack on Titan fan. Read the manga, bitch. Um, no thanks, don't get elitist over manga on the internet, bitch. I should have comment blocked that video ages ago, but it's fine. It helps you pick out the 14-year-olds from the actual YouTubers, so that helps. But we did get another Ask FM question. Someone just anonymously asked me whether I'm a competitive Pokemon battler. And the answer for being a competitive Pokemon battler, nah. <laughs> nah. Dude, I'm playing it right now, this second. But, the second that shit goes online, no way, no sir. Po competitive Pokemon battling is like the card game. It's oddly rule-based and you have to get into a whole world, a whole community of rules and tiers. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And it's all an overcomplicated maths game. I'm good, I just like the creatures themselves. And for that, I just play the story mode and I have a whole bunch of fun. If I had a six-man squad though, um, ooh, I do have some favorites. Le give me a moment on that, I'll edit, and then I'll show you a trainer card with my six best pokes. I know that Dunsparce would definitely be on there. Dunsparce is the shit. But as you can see, I'm imagining there isn't a lot of strong Pokemon on the here. Because I don't like the strong ones. I like the ones that nobody uses. I'm a hipster when it comes to Pokemon. I'm actually a hipster when it comes to any fighting game. I, what am I doing right now? Playing as... Oh, playing as Cho Mei. Who the fuck plays as Fu? Who the fuck mains Sakon and Ukon, Sam? <laughs> This guy. Dude, have I noticed how good a support Orochimaru is? He's basically doing it for me. Time for Chomei. Time for Chomei. I know the name of the bug. I know the name of the bug because I got the name of it wrong in a previous episode and I look like a fake fan Naruto dweeb. 
Do the dance, do the dance. <laughs> Bugs are gross. Although that awakening, if I remember correctly, was super broken back in the old days. I think Storm 3, all you had to do was hit the combo button and bug wings suddenly filled up your screen with no escape. You couldn't combo out because you'd combo back into the comp into my combo chain. It was, it was batshit. So now I'm just throwing up powder everywhere. And it's actually going pretty damn good. I haven't been playing much attention to the gameplay. Uh, now it's time to get in it because I need to be super defensive if I want to take the next round. Just, just defend Sam until your subs come back. Thank you, Orochimaru. And then maybe get a sneaky awakening? No, that's a long shot. Yeah, you're not gonna let me awaken, are you? But you do only have one sub, so let's get to work, shall we? Ah, oh, and they all came back. Come on, we've actually got this. This could go great for us. If we don't get deflected like a little bitch. <laughs> get it, bitch. Female dog. Dog jokes. Dog jokes. Come on, let's do it. Let's just get a cool victory for a change. Two awakenings in one turn. That's breaking the rules. Fuck the ninja rules, I have money. Go on, you big dog fucker, take up the screen. Very nice, very nice. Ah. And again, against all the odds, Akamaru is doing all the work. With Orochimaru getting some B team. Mm. Well timed, sir. I'll never be an Orochimaru fan. Someone pointed out it's kind of weird how I'm a, such a huge Kabuto fanatic, but I could care less about Orochimaru. The guy who he literally tries to emulate and copy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's smarmy genius egomaniac, and then there's kitty fiddler. I like to think there's a bit of a road in between them. Whew! But yeah, thanks guys as ever. Nice contributions. Good comments. I could do with a couple more team suggestions. So come up with a fun theme for the next episode, and if I like it, boom, you got your name in a video. So I like that part. I never want to lose sight of the original meaning of this series, which was fan base interaction. You pick a video, I make the video. Whole bunch of fun. When it's just me making my own themes, I feel like we lose that bit of community. Uh, as much community as you can get out of YouTube comments anyway. And I just prefer it when you guys drop comments and I get to bounce off them, you know? This whole video might be 18 minutes of me blabbering, but as you know from this week and last week, I'm much better when there's people to bounce ideas and dialogue off of. I'm a lot funnier when there's other people around, and you, you, you often are those people. So, come on, we're in the final round. Let's just wrap this up. I'm sick of animal. I'm sick of Animal Kingdom, Disneyland. <laughs> Fuck all wildlife. I've got a holiday to get to. Oh, could not be more excited. I'll go into that more next week because the video then will be when I'm on holiday. That's so fun. Oh, Sucker, you think you're hot shit? With your blue hands? Ah, oh, you're not gonna get past my fan slash. <laughs> she actually couldn't. That's tragic, because I was just talking shit, but she actually couldn't. Damn. That's another victory in the bank. Whew, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go have my 21st birthday. Abroad, son. Drop a comment, drop a suggestion, drop an insult. I don't care. Thank you to the three first patrons. You guys are great. The big smile I put on my face, it all helps. It all helps me continue making more. See you guys next week.